God bless you, saints. God bless you tonight in the most precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us stand up. We sing Faith in God. Number 12. Faith in God can move a massive fountain. Faith in God can calm the trouble sea. Fountain, faith can win the victory. Faith in God can move a mighty mountain. And mercy 
Seigneur, oh Dieu, ou dit Seigneur, oh, Seigneur Jésus-Christ, si nous disons nous au Seigneur, nous parlons remettre les prochains. Nous avons dit, Seigneur, oh Dieu, nous sommes des menteurs. Seigneur, nous remettons une avec l'autre, nous remettons Jésus. Oh Dieu, c'est pour cette raison, Seigneur, nous combiner ensemble, Seigneur, pour nous venir pour gloire. Parce que Seigneur, tu as dit dans ta parole, oh Dieu, côté nous deux, trois réunis, Seigneur, tu es au milieu de nous. Mais éternel, nous sommes certains pères, tu es là depuis même avant nous dériver. Seigneur, premier grand monde qui vivait à Seigneur, on a monté quand on l'a avant. Et puis, si c'est si depuis où tu es quand on l'a, on a monté depuis nous, tu es quand on deux. C'est-à-dire, Seigneur, présent sur déjà, j'ai eu un ami dans nos pères, Seigneur. Et puis, nous venons là, Seigneur, au oh Dieu, nous demandons au Seigneur Jésus-Christ. Nous venons, Seigneur, au oh Dieu, avec coupe nos vides, Seigneur. Nous demandons qu'il va remplir pour nous, Seigneur, par la parole divine. Amen. Et éternel, nous connaissons que, Seigneur, nous ne venons devant l'homme, mais Seigneur, nous venons devant les maîtres de l'univers. Et éternel, va gagner qui soit avec ça, même, Seigneur Jésus-Christ. Père, tant pis, prends contrôle, Seigneur, service ça. Et puis, on va bénir, Seigneur, cher frère, nous, Seigneur. Oh Dieu, Alléluia, qui a conduit nous, Seigneur Jésus-Christ. Et Père, Mando, éternel, on va déshabiller de la chair, on va bâtir avec cet esprit au Seigneur. A quitter en rien, Père, en cinq fêtes là, Seigneur, sauter de nous-mêmes, mais fait tout ça qu'on peut faire, Seigneur, sauter vers les trônes. Amen. Père, Céleste, t'as pris garder nous, Seigneur, pendant un moment. Et Père, t'as pris conduire nous, Seigneur. Que chaque monde qui l'a éternel, petit coup, t'as éternel, que nous recevoir nos bagages ce soir, Seigneur. Chaque jour, nous connaissons toujours joindre. Mais en chassé, il de pouvoir, nous en accord dans ce Père Saint. Nous prions, Père, de mettre mon mal en temps pour rencontrer mon Dieu. Au nom de Jésus-Christ. Amen. Alléluia. Amen. Amen. The Lord is God. Amen. Amen. Sans Jésus, je ne peux vivre. Je ne sais personne pas, c'est lui seul que je me suivre. Pour lui seul, vivre ici bas, il manque n'a rien à Puisque tu me conduiras, je te suis, ouais, ça me plaît, oui, à ma vie, à si ton amour, ton amour, il t'a coumé. Yeah. 
moment Lord Jesus Lord to be in your presence tonight it is by your grace oh Lord Father we appreciate you Lord we give you glory we give you honor we give you praise in our Lord Jesus Father Lord as we oh God worshiping you Lord tonight as we give you glory Father may you receive all the worship tonight Father Lord Jesus may you take away every sins in our life May you wash us tonight. May you cleanse us tonight. May you purify us tonight. Lord, may you sanctify us tonight. And us to be vessel already for our Lord Jesus. As we know, Father Lord, soon and very soon, Lord, we're going to leave this dimension, Lord, to meet you in the air, Lord. This is our heart desire. This is our longing, Father. Father, that's what we are longing, oh, Father, to see you, Lord Jesus, my Lord and Savior. 
Oh, oh God, we don't, we don't want to stay in this world no more. We want to go to meet you in the air, Lord. Help us tonight to live a Christian life. Oh, God, to work according to our divine promise, Lord. To, to work according to our divine word. Lord Jesus, as we are here tonight, do a work of grace into our life. Those who are, oh, God, down tonight, may I lift them up, Father, Lord. Those who are broken tonight, may I restore them tonight. Those who are afflicted tonight, may I heal them tonight, Lord. You send your word and heal them all. By the Lord Jesus Christ, tonight by the preaching of your, your word, we know that they have been cast out tonight because you are in our midst, oh Lord Jesus. But as we're going to read your word tonight, by the Lord Jesus, we ask you, Father Lord, may the control tonight. Oh God, the word we're going to read tonight, may you bless your word again, Father Lord Jesus. Father, we are before you tonight. And Lord, we come with open, open arms, Lord Jesus. Lord, we ask in the Lord to put something in our hands tonight. We need something to keep pressing on in this case, O oh Lord. Without you, we cannot do nothing, Father Lord. We commit our brothers, we commit our sisters who are here tonight in your hands. Father, may take away all the sickness, Lord. Take away all the problems tonight. May set your people free tonight, Lord, from any bondage of the enemy, Father, Lord. May set those who have been captive free tonight, because we know you can do it and do it again. Father, Lord Jesus, we commit even those who may go to listen, Father. May you bless them tonight, Lord. Let your Holy Spirit, Father, Minister to our heart tonight because we come to hear from you, Lord Jesus. We come to hear from your word, Father Lord. Because you say, Oh God, for us who have faith in you, Lord, we must hear in your word, Father Lord. Because faith coming by healing, healing of the word of God. Oh Lord Jesus, tonight, as we hear in your word, Father, as we're going to listen to thy word tonight, we know, Lord Jesus Christ, that's how we are getting faith unto the word of God. We have more faith daily, Lord Jesus Christ, unto the word of God. Help us tonight. Every blood is every sisters, Lord. Who make all God in for to be here tonight. Father, may I bless them, Father. I know it is not easy, Father. But some of them, Lord, they make a decision, Lord. To say, no matter, I don't look at to my circumstances. I don't look at to my feeling. I want to be in the house of God. Lord, may I bless them tonight. For that, oh God, for that evil they make to be here tonight. Bless and especially, Father Lord, with a special blessing from on, from on high. Father Lord Jesus, I go, God, your servant, Lord, going to share your word tonight. Oh, God, let the call of fire touch my lips, oh, Father, and to speak your word, Father Lord Jesus, according to thy word, Father. Help me to now, Lord Jesus, because you say we will send us we are the comforter, to lead us to God, to all truth, Father Lord. Help us to now, Lord Jesus. Lead us towards you tonight. This is our heart desire. We don't want to do anything in our own strength, Lord. We want to do everything with your strength, Lord, in our life, Father. Forgive our sins, our trespasses, Lord. We pray in the most precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord is God. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Let us turn to our Bible. Amen. I'm so glad to see each every one of you tonight in the house of the Lord. For making that big effort to be here tonight. It is by the grace of God. Amen. We appreciate the Lord for that. We're going to turn our Bible in Matthew 24, verse 21. And also we're going to read from verse 36 to 44. For then shall be great tribulation, so as was not since the beginning of the world, to this time no, nor ever shall be. But all that day and hour, no, no man no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But as the days of Noah were, 
so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Then shall two be in the field, the one shall be taken, and the one the other left. Two men shall be grinding at the mill, the one shall be taken, and the other left. Watch therefore, for ye know not what your what hour your Lord doth come. In, doth come. But now this that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched, and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore, be also ready, for in such in a way as he take not, the Son of Man cometh. Hallelujah. Read for them, Malipitino. Verse 21. Verse 26. Verse 21. Verse 21. No, verse 21. After that, you're going to turn to verse 36 and 42, 32, 44. Okay. Verse, verse, verse 21. Parce que les sœurs va gagner un gros l'affliction, mon beaucoup de gens moins depuis le commencement, les bons dieux t'ont crié la terre, joue, joue, dire. Parce que par gens gagnent l'autre temps cool encore. Si yo pat wè kek jou, si yo pat wète kek jou, sou jou sa a yo, personne pa da ka souve. Non, non. Okay. Read verse 36 okay. to 44. 24, Matthew 24, verse 36. Mais personne pa konen ni ki jou, ni ki lè, sa va arrive. Pa men zan jou ki nan siel la. Pas même petite là, seul papa, seul papa comme ça. Ça qui est arrivé dans le temps de l'Oye, dans l'âge, dans l'âge, ça qui est arrivé dans le temps de l'Oye, dans la chair, à venir. C'est comme ça, dans le jour avant, gros inondation, mon tap mangé, yo tap boué, on t'a marié, on t'a marié petite fille, comme ça, comme ça, comme ça, comme ça, jour jour Noé a été entré dans le gros bâtiment. Il n'y a pas de comprendre rien dans ce qui t'a passé. Jour que les gros inondations ont fait, l'hypothèse est tout allé. C'est va même genre en tout. Les mouns bon Dieu voyaient dans la chair va venir. Les ça va gagner des garçons dans le même jardin. Il y a pris un, il y a quitté l'autre là. Va gagner des femmes qui ont moulé maï. Il y a pris un, il y a quitté l'autre là. C'est peut-être ça. Pas quitter dormi pour nous parce que nous ne connaissons pas qui joue, mais nous va venir. C'est un bagaille, nous tous doués qu'on est. Si M. Kaila, tu connais qui il est, dans la nuit, l'envolé à ta vini, il t'a veillé, il n'a pas quitté, car c'est Kaila. C'est pour ça tout, nous-mêmes, c'est pour nous toujours parler. Parce que mon bon Dieu voyé dans la chair a venu les nous pas qu'à quoi là. Amen. Amen. Alléluia. Il m'a dit. Alléluia. Nous parlons de ça. Amen. Amen. I want you to be in the spirit. Amen. Moi, je veux en esprit. Alléluia. Because this is very important for your soul. Ça, il est très important pour nous. Yeah, this uh, the one we're going to talk about tonight. Et ça, nous allons parler ce soir. It is death or life. Il est là pour la vie. Death or life. Alléluia. It is death or life. Oh, et c'est la mort ou la vie. Alléluia. Amen. 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 I want to pay attention, my brother, as Amen. you can state for the people who listen. 
Amen. Alléluia. C'est verset 21, Matthieu 24. But then shall be, then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. Alléluia. So tonight we're going to speak on the great tribulation and the rapture of the saints. Alléluia. Amen. It is very important. Très important. And I want you to pay attention. Alléluia. Amen. Amen. You will be like a car of teaching. Alléluia. Amen. As we wait for the coming of the Lord, as we are watching, we must know how to wait. Alléluia. Upon the Lord. As the Bible says, for those who wait upon the Lord, He shall renew their strength. Amen. So if you wait to now upon the Lord, remember your strength will be renewed. Amen. As we prepare in ourselves to leave this dimension and to go meet the Lord in the air, we must know how to prepare ourselves. Hallelujah. We must be aware of what's, what's going to be happening on the face of the earth. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's why tonight I chose to, 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 to tell you about the great tribulation and the rapture of the saints. As the Lord lead me. Hallelujah. Amen. And you and I, we must know here we are on earth. We are, we are here for a purpose. You are not just here to be here. Hallelujah. Because God created you and I in his own image. Hallelujah. So he put you here for a goal. Hallelujah. You are here for a purpose. So you must know that as brothers and sisters, as believers, as saints of the Lord Jesus Christ, as you and I preparing ourselves, we must know there will be great tribulation going to knock the face of the earth, and we must know we as the bride of the Lord Jesus Christ are to prepare ourselves when great tribulation will knock the earth, so we will not be one left behind. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. It is it is not something man will be understand. Because when Jesus said here in Matthew 24, he said, Then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to read that another version of the Bible for you. Amen. You see the way, hallelujah. The scripture put it here. Amen. 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 One second. Hallelujah. Matthew 24, verse 21. Matthew 24, verse is a version of the Bible. The international reader version. Hallelujah. There shall be terrible suffering in those days. It will be worse than any other from the beginning of the world until now. Mm -hmm. And there will never be anything like it again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So there will be great suffering on the face of the earth. So once we talk about the great tribulation, it is the same as we said, there will be great suffering on the face of the earth. Hallelujah. It is something, it will be worse than anything the man and woman knew on the face of the earth. Hallelujah. It is not a plain game, my brothers and sisters. If you are here, I want you to put your mind and to hear what the word of God says and pay attention to the word of God because it is good for your soul because I'm not going to be responsible for your soul tonight. And I want you to be responsible for your soul tonight. So once you come in the house of God, put your mind, your strength, all your being unto the things of God. Forget about the problem. Because after that, you deal with that. Because right now is the time you are in the house of God. Hallelujah. Make your heart feel happy. 
Because God is here. Alléluia. If you want God to do something for you, so then make God be happy also. You want God to do your stuff, and you don't want to do that God stuff. You you have to do God stuff, so God can do your stuff. Alléluia. Amen. If you can have opinion of how to say amen to the word of God, you want God bless you. You want God to take care of your stuff while you are watching His word, being preaching, and you can understand His word. Amen. Amen. We must understand God is not a play game. God is not a, like a, a toy man. Hallelujah. Amen. We must respect God. Once we come in the house of God, when the word of God is preaching, you have to have a good mind to say amen to the word of God. Amen. If the deep is in you, when the word of God is preaching, the deep in you will answer to the deep who is calling. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. That's why I see people, they cannot open their mouth to say amen in the church because God is not in there. Hallelujah. They don't have that hope on them there, that deep inside. Hallelujah. We need to have that deep calling to the deep. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Tonight, I want to prepare you tonight because we are going to travel very soon. Hallelujah. Soon and very soon, the rapture is going to take place. Do you like it? Do you don't like it? The rapture will take place. Soon and very soon. Hallelujah. Amen. If you are looking for a dollar, a making dollar, look for it. If you are looking for a house, look for it. If you are looking for food, look for it. Don't let the things will pass away, but the things will never pass away. It is the word of God. That's where I want to be. That's what I want to eat tonight. That's why I come to the house of God to eat the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 You must understand that, my brothers and sisters. Once you come in the house of God, put your trouble away. Hallelujah. Just bring them at the feet of Jesus. Why you want to keep them at yourself? Hallelujah. You see, people don't have no choice in the house of God. Hallelujah. It's only that people lose hope. It's only that they are not serving God. Maybe they are serving the president. They think they are serving men on the earth. But you are serving the living God. You must have hope in God. You must have faith in God. And you must know God can do all things. Unless you believe that, God won't be able to do anything for you. Hallelujah. Amen. We must prepare our mind when we come in the house of God. Hallelujah. Prepare our heart when we come in the house of God. Put the things of this world away. The things you are worried about. It is not the word of God you are worried about. Hallelujah. If you are worried about the word of God, you will worry about the good thing. But because you are worried about the things of this world, who will pass away tomorrow, then you are worried about the bad thing. You are making a mistake. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why tonight, there are two people here tonight. One going to the great tribulation, and one going to the rapture. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I want every one of you to go in the rapture. Hallelujah. I want to go in the rapture. But God knew there are two people here tonight. Every time church has been gathering, there are two groups of people there. One going to stay here in, in the great tribulation, and one going in the rapture. Hallelujah. Tonight, where are you tonight? Hallelujah. Where you belong tonight? Are you belong, are you belong to the group? Who go into the great tribulation? Oh, you are going, you, you, are, you are in the group, you go in the rapture. Hallelujah. If you are, if you are, if you want to, if you want to be, hallelujah, in that group going in the rapture tonight, you have to say amen to the word of God. You have to, you have to cherish the word of God. Hallelujah. You, you, you must open your heart tonight to receive from God tonight. Hallelujah. 
I believe you all want to go in the rapture. Because I believe that's why you left your home to come here in the house of God to hear the word of God. Hallelujah. If you want God to do your stuff, my brothers and sisters, do God's stuff. Hallelujah. If you want God to touch your problem, put yourself for God, worship God, talk to God, hallelujah, make God feel happy, then God will do your stuff, hallelujah. You may not understand what I'm saying tonight. Say, oh, Brother Colonel, you are not in my, my place. Brother Colonel, you may not understand what I'm going through. Your problem is greater than God. Hallelujah. If your problem is greater than God, that's something else. But there is nothing is greater than God. God is greater than your problem. So he knows your problem. He knows your needs. So why don't you yield yourself to him? Hallelujah. Just give yourself to him. Hallelujah. Amen. That's how the Lord going to take care of your son. That's what the Bible says. Faith coming by healing. Healing by the word of God. You know some people in church, they don't have no faith in God. Yes, they go to church. Yes, they say they are Christian. But they have no faith in God. Hallelujah. But you need to have faith in God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because only faith in God who can move a mighty mountain. Hallelujah. You want mountain removed before you? Have faith in God. And the Bible says, faith is coming by healing of the word of God. Hallelujah. So as you hear the word of God tonight, if you want mountain removed for you, you must hear the word of God and to have faith in the word of God so mountain can remove for you. Hallelujah. How many of you want mountain removed for you tonight? Hallelujah. How many of you want God to take care of yourself tonight? If you want God to take care of yourself tonight, listen to the word of God and have faith in God. Your mountain will be removed. Hallelujah. Stop complaining. Hallelujah. Let you, let, let you have faith in God to remove your mountain. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I feel a gloomy spirit. That's why I'm shoveling. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says, But of that day, in our nowhere, no man. So God is speaking here. Hallelujah. How about the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ? He's talking about in Matthew 24, verse 26. He said, But of that day, in our knoweth no man. Hallelujah. No, not the angels of heaven. Hallelujah. When Jesus Christ will come to get his bride away, no man will know that. Hallelujah. Amen. He's going to be secret. Hallelujah. He's just, hallelujah, going just to reveal to the people who are going to the rapture. The other people will heard about rapture have been taking place. People have been mis mis uh, mis uh, misplaced. People have been missing. Hallelujah. They don't see people. They say, where is that brother? Where is that sister? They are looking. Maybe they say, where is my husband? Where is my wife? Where is my son? Where is my daughter? They have been taken away. They are going to the rapture. It's not something men going to say, oh, you know what? Let's get our camera. Let's, let's watch. Let's make some picture to see people are going up in heaven. There will be no such thing like that, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Oh, maybe, you know, maybe, you know, you, you are in a great country where you say, you know, they have satellite. Hallelujah. So, where they can show the satellite, they catch that. No fair. Hallelujah. No, my brother. There will be no satellite to catch that. Hallelujah. They go in the way of the bride. There will be no satellite to take that. Hallelujah. To say, oh, I can see that. No. 
Alléluia. It's going to be secret. Alléluia. Amen. But the Bible says, Alléluia, but my father only. Alléluia. And now, Jesus wants to say something here. He wants to explain the condition of the time the rapture is going to take place, the way the condition is going to be, the way the time is going to look like. Alléluia. Amen. You want to know the mouth of God tonight? Just, just listen to the word of God. Hallelujah. But as the days of but as the day of Noah, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Hallelujah. You see, Jesus was explained. You remember how it was in the day of Noah. Hallelujah. In the day of Noah, people was married. Hallelujah. They were eating. Hallelujah. They were drinking. Like you see people are doing today. Hallelujah. People are giving in marriage. Hallelujah. And people are doing all sort of stuff. Jesus said, when the Son of Man is going to come, that means when the rapture is going to take place, hallelujah. So as, as it was in the day of Noah, it's going to be the same way. So if you see you are living right now, you see the same way it was in the time of Noah. If you see it is the same way right now, remember the rapture is going to take place very soon. That's what Jesus wants you to see. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus wants you to see that. Hallelujah. Watch the same way it was in the day of Noah. Hallelujah. How it was in the, in the time of Noah. So let's go back to the Bible. Hallelujah. Let's travel right now to see how it was in the time of Noah. Hallelujah. The Bible says people were doing their own things. Hallelujah. They were not paying at much, at, much, much attention to the things of God. But they were paying pay attention to the things of this world. Hallelujah. So Jesus was saying they were eating. Eating is not because eating is bad. Because you and I, we eat. But it's because they were eating like people who don't have nothing to do with God. They were doing their own things. That's what the Bible wants to explain you here. It is not because eating was bad. It, it is not because drinking was bad. Hallelujah. Maybe you drink a good soda, a good juice. It is not because drinking is bad. But they were drinking as the people of the world doing today. Maybe they are drinking liquors. They are drinking things they shouldn't drink. Hallelujah. They are doing their own things. Hallelujah. So Jesus was explaining those things. So people was married. Hallelujah. So when they were married, it was not because it was bad. Because God is the first one who, who made the first marriage. In the Garden of Eden, it was God who married Adam and Eve. Hallelujah. The first marriage, it was in the Garden of Eden. So God, it was the order of marriage. So if God said, when, when the Son of Man is going to come, it's going to be this way, so people will be married and given marriage. So what that means? It is not because marriage is bad, but it's because you are married without God. Hallelujah. It is what the people are doing, but without God. Hallelujah. Like the same way you and I come tonight. Maybe your mind is not in the things of God. Maybe you are thinking about money. Maybe you are thinking about food. Maybe you are thinking about the things of this world. So your mind is not there. God says, as it was in the day of Noah, so shall it be at the corner of the Son of Man. Hallelujah. So tonight, my brothers and sisters, don't find yourself in the same condition like the people in the time of Noah found themselves. In the time of Noah, people are worrying so much about the things to eat. 
There was there were worried so much about the things of this world. But the, the way they were worried about the things of this world, if they can only switch that just to worry much about the things of God as they worry, worry about the things of this world, then there will be a change. God could do something for them. You see how your mind is? Your mind is straight tonight, some of you. Are you thinking about, oh man, I want God to do something for me very bad. The same way, if you can think about God that same way, all things will be possible for you tonight. God wants you to give your mind 100% to him. He wants you to give your heart 100% to him. He wants you to give yourself, all yourself to him. But because we want to give half in, our, in your life to God, you want to give half to the things of this world, God cannot do your stuff. Think about yourself tonight. As I think about myself tonight. Are you found yourself in the faith? Are you found yourself working with the Lord? Are you found yourself loving God with all your heart? Hallelujah. So as it was in the day of Noah, Jesus said, it shall be the same way also in the end. When the Son of Man is going to come. My brothers and sisters, you and I must prepare. Don't, don't think you come to church every time. You just come to church. It is not the time to just come to church as you used to come to church. Put yourself in order. Because soon and very soon the rapture are going to take place. It is not a play game no more. We must prepare ourselves, my brothers and sisters. The rapture is going to take place one of these days. Soon and very soon. There will be a last Sunday. There will be a last Saturday. You are you, you're going to hear the word of God. There will be a last Friday we come in this place. Remember, God is coming soon. Put your mind, put your soul, put your spirit to wait upon God, to live for God, to love God with all your mind. The Bible says it was in the day of Noah, so, so shall it be. Hallelujah, the coming of the Son of Man. Amen. The Bible says, until that day that Noah entered into the ark. And knew not until the flood came. They didn't know until the flood came. And took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Hallelujah. They were not knowing what's going to be happening. Don't know I'm going to but no, I was preaching to them about 120 years, preaching unto them, repent from your sins and come to God. Like the same thing I can say, repent from your sins and be baptized in Jesus' name for the remission of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Because the promise is unto you and to your children, and to your children's children. And to those the Lord shall call who are far off. Hallelujah. Maybe they were saying, well, like maybe you do now you are thinking, what, what are you talking about, brother Colonel? What are you talking about? Repent and be baptized in Jesus' name. So that's why they were looking knowing Noah. They were looking to to Noah very funny. Taking Noah losing his mind. Ah, those people are always talking about the baptism of Jesus' name. In the same way tonight, if you are the same way we say to Noah, there's nothing different because it was the word of God. When Noah was saying the earth is going to be destroyed, prepare yourself, come to the ark. Did they listen to Noah? No, they won't listen to Noah. Because they, they thought Noah 
lose his mind. Like to now you thought I'm losing my mind when I quit and say, come to God and repent from your sins and baptize in Jesus' name. For the remission of your sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. You may say, I'm not going to talk too much about this thing. But one of these days, you will find that that's what they told. When the great tribulation takes place, when you lay behind in the great tribulation, you will say, oh wow, I miss it. It was the truth. It will be too late for you. It will be too late for you. Because God, in the time of Noah, when he said to the children of Israel, he said, come to the ark. Come to the ark. Come to the ark. By his prophet Noah, no one pay attention. The Bible says, it's only the family of Noah who just get in the ark. All the people are doing their own things. They thought Noah lose his mind. Hallelujah. Because they were worried about eating. They were worried about drinking. They were worried about marriage. Tonight, look unto yourself. What are you worrying about? As it was in the day of Noah, so shall it be. What are you worried about tonight? You may not worry about eat, eating, or maybe drinking. Maybe you worry about it something else. Look at yourself tonight. If the thing you are worried about, it is, us, it is this, this thing which is going to make you go to the rapture. You must worry about your soul more than anything of this world. Say, so, Lord, I don't want to miss, I don't want to lay behind. When they have set a place, I don't want to lay behind. I want to meet you in the air. What is the way to go? What is the way to go? Hallelujah. So you will ask God, what is the way to go? What way I should take to go? What shall I do? You see? When the word was preaching, when Peter was preaching on the day of Pentecost, when he was preaching, repent from your sins and be baptized in Jesus' name for the remission of your sins. It was giving the answer of what they have to do to be saved from destruction. Because they were asking Peter, Peter, what shall I do? Tonight, if you are here, you want to go in the action, open your mouth, say, what shall I do? Hallelujah. Brother Colonel, you're talking about the action. What shall I do to go there? Because I don't want to lay behind. What shall I do? They were asking Peter, what shall I do? And Peter said, repent. Repent from your sins tonight. And be baptized in Jesus' name for the remission of your sins. That's what Peter was saying. Hallelujah. So tonight the word is speaking to you. And the Bible says, then shall to be in the field. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Like maybe you are working with your wife. <laughs> or maybe let's say you are going to a market. <laughs> While you are getting stuffed, oh, I'm <laughs> thinking about you now, I'm going <laughs> to make a good <laughs> food. <laughs> maybe I'm going to cook some fish tonight. <laughs> I'm going to, to cook some rice tonight. <laughs> Maybe you know to make a good food. You are enjoying yourself in the market. Maybe your husband working with you and looking for stuff in the market to buy. When you look at like that, say, my husband, where are you? My husband, where are you? My husband, where are you? Your husband is no more. Your husband already rapture. Why you still looking for stuff? What happened? Where is my husband? Maybe you run to the to, to the uh, to the people to the register. You asking them. So where do you see my husband? My husband was came here in, in, in the shop with me, in the market with me. Where is my husband? My brothers and sisters. 
I'm just speaking what the Lord just put in my mind tonight. Just listen to the word of God. Amen. 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 There will be a time of disappointment on the face of the earth. There will be a time when men will, will cry and cry will not save them. There will be a time when men will, will you know, men will tear themselves. They, they will do everything to try to kill themselves. Death will not take them. The Bible says, as it was in the day of Noah, so shall it be at the coming of the Son of Man. People worry about eating, Amen. drinking, marrying. All those things they worry about. And I say tonight, what are you worry about tonight? In the time of Noah, they were worrying about eating. They were worrying about drinking. They were worrying about marriage. They were worrying about the things of this world. Tonight, look unto yourself. What are you worrying about tonight? There will be a last Sunday, a last Saturday. Are you ready to go meet the Lord in the air? We are speaking tonight on the rapture and the great tribulation. Look unto yourself tonight. Where are, you, where are you found yourself tonight? Are you found yourself in the line of the rapture? Or are you found yourself in the line of walking in the great tribulation? Because great tribulation soon and very soon going to strike the earth. It is not a play game, my brothers and sisters. Don't come to church to play games. Be serious the things of God. Be happy in the things of God. Be happy in the house of God. God wants you to be happy. Hallelujah. Prepare yourself tonight. Maybe when you are in the market with your husband. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says, two then two be in the field, the one shall be taken, and the other left. So it is the same way I would apply that. Maybe you and your wife going to the market. You are wine. So now I'm going to have a good food. We're going to enjoy ourselves. And we're going to get to drink a good drink. It may not be, my brothers and sisters. <laughs> no man know the hours, the hours in the time the Son of Man is going to go. The scripture said this. No man know the time and the hour. The Lord Jesus Christ shall come. Be prepared any time. Because two will be in the market. As I say, you can put it in the in the way you want to put it. You can say they are going in the market together. Mary, uh, uh, the husband and the wife, maybe they go to go shopping. Maybe they go to the mall. So, man, I'm preparing myself tomorrow to have a good dress to go to church. Who tell you tomorrow going to be to church? Hallelujah. Amen. Who tell you to 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 two of you going to be to, to go, going to church tomorrow? Hallelujah. Be prepared yourself tonight. Amen. Prepare yourself, my brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. You're walking with your wife. Maybe you're looking for a good clothes to make your wife be happy. Because I believe, my brother, you love your wife. I believe, my sister, you love your husband. Maybe the sister said today I want to make my husband happy. Hallelujah. Sister, 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 that is not happy tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The sister said, I want to make my husband happy tonight. Amen. 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 So now, uh, while, while you are looking for a good clothes to take care of your, your husband, to make your husband happy, because tomorrow you want to go to church with your husband, look nice. But your husband don't even, doesn't even need that clothes. Because your husband in a second, he will be raptured, but you, you are not prepared to go. You are worrying about the clothes, but your husband already raptured. Check yourself, my brothers and sisters. 
Be ready at all times. While you are while you are preparing. Talk about here. Yeah. Well, let me say something tonight. Talk about here. Yeah. Maybe as my brothers have their wife, you know, pregnant here. Okay. Maybe as they prepare for that baby to come. Maybe you are worried, maybe oh man. Yeah, you know my husband, you, you know my wife's pregnant. I don't have money to take all this and this. And you know how these things start for me. Who tell you tomorrow you will be here with your wife? Who tell you so? Yes, sir. I don't say you know you cannot be worried, but worry you much know. about God more. Hallelujah. If you worry much about God much, God will take care of your stuff. Hallelujah. Amen. Maybe, oh, you know why? I'm out to buy a good, good suit for my husband. I want when my husband comes in the church, people look at my husband, he's a good man. He's very nice wearing. So now your husband, you know, and you think you're the, the, maybe in that day, maybe it was Saturday or Friday, and maybe you say, Sunday, we're going to work together. And my husband going to look nice. Everybody going to see my husband look nice. Who tell you you going to be in church with your husband that Sunday? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We must prepare, my brothers and sisters. That's what the Bible says. No man, not the time, in the hour. So the Lord Jesus Christ shall come. Be prepared. Hallelujah. I want you tonight. Tune your mind tonight. Because we have you have a flippy mind. Where do your mind keep shifting? Shifting there, shifting there. It cannot be stable. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. Do I think about God or do I not think about God? Do I think about God or do I not think about God? Because you are thinking too much about the things of this world. Check yourself tonight. Look unto yourself tonight. If you are preparing yourself to go in the rapture, or you are preparing yourself to eat those things in this world. Hallelujah. Prepare yourself, my brothers and sisters. So while you are looking for my, where is my husband? Where is, where is my husband? Where is my husband? While you are looking for the suit, you say, my husband, this suit, this suit looks nice. Maybe your husband was behind you. This suit, maybe you say, baby, this look, this suit, this look, this look, this look nice. Try it. Where are you, honey? Where are you, honey? Where are you, honey? Where are you, honey? So you are looking everywhere. Where is your husband? Your husband got you already. Hallelujah. My oh, brothers and sisters, people will lose their mind. When the rapture is taking place, many people will lose their mind. Because the thing will be happening so fast, you will be deserving so fast, even people who are around you, they won't even see what happened. Hallelujah. So that when they don't see you, they will say, what happened here? Where is my husband? He was here. Where is he? Where is my wife? He was here. She was here. I want to preach that clearly to you tonight. Stop playing the church no more. Don't play church no more. If you and I, we used to play church, let us be serious. It is the time for you not to be serious. God is speaking to you tonight. If you think it's a man speaking, that's your own problem. But God is speaking to you tonight. Prepare yourself. The rapture is going to take place very soon. So, brother Clonel. How do you know the rapture is going to take place very soon? 
So we read the scripture here. The Bible says, as it was in the day of Noah, so shall it be at the coming of the Son of Man. So we can see the time as it was in the day of Noah, as it was in the day of Lord, in Sodom and Gomorrah, it is the same way. That's why I know we are in this side. Jesus says, as it was in the day of God, so shall it be in our day. Do you see that in the scripture? Do you see that today? Happen the same way? So then we are in the time to go around to the place. Prepare yourself. That's how I know. When I read the scripture and I see Jesus say, as it was in the day of Noah, it shall be the same at the end. As it was in the day of law, it's the same way it's going to be in the end time. And when I see the scripture say that, and I read the scripture, I see it's the same time we are living here, we see the same thing happen. So what else left? The coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why we can talk about the rapture. Thank you, Jesus. We can talk about left behind. We may not touch it very deep tonight because I know time is running on me. But next time I want to let you know about left behind people. It is not something gonna be a play game. The Bible says it will be great tribulation. Terrible suffering in the face of the earth. That man never knew that day on the earth. It is not something to play with. Jesus who says so. It is not a politician who says, who says that. Maybe a politician can say something today. Maybe tomorrow he change the thing. But Jesus is the one speaking this word. He said, heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will not pass away. So this word he speak here, he said, there will be great tribulation. Even the earth will not understand this thing. Amen. It will be so great to the earth. Man will be crying. Hallelujah. There will be crying, my brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. There will be crying in that day. You want to let me high? Because I'm seeing people are very playing church in this last day. That's why you see prayer meeting. There are people cannot come to prayer meeting. Because people are playing game. The rapture will be taking place. As you see they are playing game, they will still playing games. Church members are still playing games. People think they are religious, they will still playing games. In the church, in the rapture taking place. You think it's going to be a play game? I hope the whole church is here to hear that. But God knows all things. It's not going to be a play game, my brother and sisters. I see some people are coming here and they church sleeping in the church. While the minister of God is preaching the word of God to prepare them, to know how to prepare themselves to go in the rapture, they are sleeping in the church. You are playing games. You are not serious the things of God. We want the gospel to be preached to those people, to cut, them, cut those people, so they can change from their ways. Because the rapture is not a play game. We are serious about this thing. And we don't want no, our, no one of our blood and sisters to live behind. We want every one of us to go all together to meet the Lord in the air. But the only way I can help you is to preach, to your, preach the word of God to you. To say, repent from your sins. Repent yourself. Jesus is coming soon.
Stop being worried about the things around Stop you. Quiet, you. Put your mind Put your mind in God. Put your heart in God. Put all yourself in God. May the Lord have mercy. Verse 41. Two men shall be grinding at the mill. The one shall be taken and the other left. My blood and sisters. Maybe you have your blood. You say, you know what? Let's go. Maybe, you know, let's go do some shopping. Today. You know? Your, or maybe let's go to the park today. You know, sometimes you want to go to the park. There's nothing wrong in going to the park to get some good times, you know? Sometimes you, you know, to relax your mind, yeah? Amen? Sometimes to get some good, you know, fresh air on the park, you know? Or, you know, to do something, just to be there. There's nothing about, wrong about that. Maybe you say, okay, you know, brother, so and so, let's go. So you go there. Maybe while you are talking with brother so and so, or maybe you are working. You say maybe let me let me just a little work. You know while brother so and so is working. And you look at brother so and so. Where are you? Brother so and so rapture. Hallelujah. But but what happened? Both of you were were brothers. Both of you were brothers. Why one left and the other one goes? My brothers and sisters, one was serious with the things of God, one was playing church. You know why, why some people were not going to, to the rapture? Because, yes, they say I'm religious. Yes, I'm a church member. But when the word is preaching, their mind is not in the word of God. They might either in the in, in the workplace where they are working, or maybe they might was at home thinking about food at home, thinking about the things of this world while the word of God is preaching to them. So now the word of God is preaching to them. After they leave this place, they go. They leave this, this, this door. When they reach outside, maybe you ask them what the preacher was preaching, what subject the preacher was preaching today on. So, oh, what again? What again? You know you are not you are not paying attention. You just like a blofer. You know you are not paying attention when the word was preaching. You are doing your own things. And you are, oh, what was that again? What was that again? You think your mind just was just went away? You are not paying attention. Maybe you are sleeping. You are dozing. You know. So now because. You are doing your own things. You are not seeing the things of God. So now you don't even get nothing. My brothers and sisters, once you come here, remember, you come to be instructed in the word of God. You come to prepare yourself for the rapture. The Bible says, it is the bride who make herself ready. It is not somebody going to make you ready. You yourself prepare yourself with the word of God you have in your hands. You have what it takes to bring you in the rapture. So use that. Prepare yourself. Once you come here, you hear the word of God to change you. To prepare you. To mold you to the character of Jesus Christ. Just yield yourself, my brothers and sisters. Yield yourself. God is speaking to you tonight. The rapture is real. The great tribulation is real. It is not something men taking about. It's Jesus who spoke about it. 
If Jesus spoke about something, so that means his word is amen. It's going to happen as he says. There will be great tribulation in the face of the earth like men never known before. Are you prepare yourself to escape that? The Apostle Paul was asking, How shall we escape if we neglect that great salvation? How shall you escape, my brothers and sisters? After hearing the word of God, you know you have to prepare yourself to go in the rapture. You don't care about that. You don't care attitude in the things of God. You continue the way you are. You say there's nothing you know about these things. Though you go to church, sometimes asking why people go to the church. Because we go to church to be changed. But some people never change. If you say, okay, you know, brothers and sisters, when the word of God is preaching, be awake. Be awake. So that's me, that, that sleep. Don't sleep. People will sleep on you regardless. So you're asking, why those people listen? You tell people when the church service started, don't come 30 minutes after the time. Don't come one hour after the time service started. You asking people, people hear that. But people don't do nothing about it. It's the same time. It was the day on the day of Noah. When Noah said it's going to be rain, come unto the ark. People, people look at Noah. What are you talking about, Noah? I have my own thing to do. Leave me alone. Talking about the ark, 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 every time. Come to the ark, come to the ark. Leave me alone. In the same way, when the when when maybe the you know the deacon say the church service is start at this time. Come to the church on time. And you you give an attitude. Leave me alone. Hallelujah. What what is the difference? Prepare yourself to go to church. We buy it in the To the everyday church. Oh, church in the église. Maybe you don't say that in your in your mouth, but, but you say that in your attitude. The way you the way you behave, you show yourself you're not going. Every time church, church, church. It's the same thing. When no one was preaching. Come to the ark. Come to the ark. Every time I come to the ark, come to the ark. Come. I'm tired. Listen, listen. So shall it be as the coming of the Son of Man? If you don't change your eye, something wrong with you. So God is speaking to you tonight. God is speaking to you and I tonight. We must respect God. God is not a person you can play with. Noah preaching 120 years come to the ark. It's going to be rain. The only place of safety. Come to the ark. Come to the ark. That's the only place of safety. If you want to be saved, come to the ark. People get say, I'm getting tired of Noah. How many times you say you get tired of the pastor and his preaching? It is real tonight. Before you tonight. It was as this, the same way it was in the day of Noah. How many times have you have to get tired of going to church? You need to be repented tonight. 
Come to the earth, prepare yourself. Destruction is going to strike the earth. Uh, destruction will destroy you. The earth is going to be destroyed. Alleluia, prepare yourself. Come to the earth. Sometimes even beasts listen better than human beings. When Noah called the beasts Le by the names Le no, you really bet you, uh, uh, no, and no, by no. pair, and by pair. They come. When Noah called human beings to come to the earth, they don't pay attention. The God have mercy to this generation. Sometimes the beast listens to the word of God. But human beings have been created in the image of God. They don't want to listen to the word of God. They don't want to listen to the word of God. You don't want to obey the word of God. The God of mercy. I know the time is running on me. Blood and sisters. We're going to continue on that. But prepare yourself. Because we have to pray. Ask God to give you a, a fleshly heart, my brothers and sisters. People don't have their fleshly heart no more. Is there stony heart you preach your word of God to people? People not breaking down no more. People stay stiff in the church. Very hard. It's like their words not get onto them. You used to see people in the world preaching to them, crying for the mercies of God. Even tears drop in the in the eyes of people. Those things not happen in the, in the heart of people no more. Because sins have been taken over our people. The heart of people becomes so hard. You preach to people to repent from their sins. People are look at when they first and laugh at you. Why they are in a condition they need to get out. God wants to save man, but man wants to destroy himself. God wants to save you, my brother and sister. When God was speaking through Noah, he was saying to the people, come to the ark. It's because God wants to save those people. God didn't want to destroy them. Why, why, why God will take 120 years to preach and win the generation? Try to win the heart of those people to get in the ark. Because he didn't want those people to perish. He want them to repent from their sins. He want them to come to God. But people rebel unto God. My brothers and sisters, God don't want you to perish. He doesn't want me to perish. When you see Pastor come behind the pulpit, he's preaching the word of God to you. Maybe he may catch you the word of God, but he don't want you to perish. You see, Brother Peter, or my, or, or, my, or I, regardless who's coming behind the pulpit preaching, Anybody who stand here, they will preach the word of God unto you. It is not because they hate you. It is because they love you. They don't want you to go to hell. They want to save you. When we tell you something, now don't do this. Don't do that. It is not because we want to put rules upon you. It is because we want to help you, my brothers and sisters. If you see it, your child is in the parking lot and is running to cross in the world, and you see a brother running me after the child to get the child for you. Maybe by running the child behind the child, maybe by the way you try to get the child, the child fell on the floor. Yes, the child is fell on the floor, really. But it's not because his intention is to kill the child. He's trying to save the child. Hallelujah. You may see the fell of the child look bad, but if the child was crossing the water, a, a car 
kill the child. If that would be more bad. That's what the minister behind the book is doing. It's to warn you for destruction to come. It's to warn you stay away from sins. Stay away from unbelief. Stay away from everything of this world. Come to God for you not to be destroyed. For you not to go to the great tribulation. For you not to go to hell. Yes, he may he may preach hard. He may hurt you the way it's hard. Me, when there is a preaching, I don't I don't I don't get something where I feel, oh God, have mercy upon me. I felt the preaching was not dead. That's brother Clone. Every time a minister comes behind the pulpit, if you are preaching the word of God, there's nothing like I can look at to myself. I can say, Lord, have mercy upon me. Then you are not preaching. You are not preaching that day. Maybe you are doing some lecture. lecture. You are reading some words. But the word of God must be preached. When I look into myself, I say, Lord, have mercy upon me. What can I do? What can I do? Like Peter, when he was preaching, the people were saying, What shall I do, Peter? Why do I say, what shall I do? Because they seek condemnation upon their life by the word who have been preached. The word cut them. When the word cut them, they see and they say, they are feeling bad. They seek condemnation. So, Lord of mercy, what shall I do, Peter? He does not repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins and you shall what shall I do with them? It's because the Bible said the word the, 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 the word was cut the heart. Really? We killed the Lord Jesus Christ. He was the one come to redeem us. He was the one come to save us. But we go against him, we kill him. So what left for us? Peter said there is only one way. Only one thing you can do. It's not two things. It's not three things. It's not four things. Only one thing, brother. Repent. Tonight, the same thing to you. The same thing to me tonight. If I want to go in the rapture, repent for my sins. Repent for your sins. Repent, sir. Because Jesus is coming soon. May the Lord be with you, my brothers and sisters. You may stand up. May God bless you. Prepare yourself. Jesus is coming soon. Be ready, my brothers and sisters. Do not play church no more. Asking God tonight to forgive you for the sins who have been committed. The sins who have been committed for so long. The way we used to walk. Who is not pleasing God. Asking God for, me, for, him, for his mercy and grace. You hear the word, I hear the word. What, what do we do with the word when the word preach? The minister come, they preach the word with all the heart, with all the strength. They put their mind to, in the things of God to preach the word of God to you. What do you do with the word you hear? What the change coming in your life? Where, where is the change? The prophet can be preached to this generation. Look at this country. Look at this country. Where the great prophet of God was born. And preaching the word of God. The signs and wonders following his ministry. Miracles after miracles. The things have never been done. In this earth. God doing to his ministry. Hallelujah. But people rejected his word. How shall they escape? Tonight, my brothers and sisters, if you used to live an evil life, a life of sin, once you leave this place tonight, while you are here, make your decision tonight. Say, Lord, I want to do different. Because me who preach unto you tonight, I must do the same. Mr. Brother Colonel, you just preach to us, but 
is for me also. I must go home to take my son. So Lord have mercy upon me. After I preach here, because the, the preaching is online, pastor listen to that. So any brother and sister can listen to that. Because it's not something private. We are preaching the word of God here. It can be tested by anything. Hallelujah. Because I know it is the word of God. I don't come to preach my mind here. That's why I believe every church member must hear the word of God. Because it is a belong to the church members. It is belong to the bride. Hallelujah. It is belong to this church. Amen. I see some brothers and sisters, they don't know what's going on here this Saturday. They don't know what's going on. I mean, the same way they don't know what's going on, when the rapture is going to take place, they will not know what's going on also. I don't say people who just come, who just come going to the rapture, they won't, don't come, who won't go. That, that's not what I'm saying. I know some people may try to flip that when they listen. But I want to let you know, if you are a member of this church, you are required to come to prayer meeting, regardless who you are. You are required to come to the prayer meeting. That the fact we are we are we are content for. Remember, we were preaching on that last last, last Saturday. Hallelujah. That the fact we are content for. You are required to come to prayer meeting. It is not something if, if, or if, or no, if. It's something you require to come. No, when the saints are gathered to pray, it is your duty to come to pray with the saints. No one except. Says the Bible. That brother going to say so. But the Bible says they were all in one accord. All in one accord. It was not a couple of them. All in one accord. If we say there's a prayer meaning, you must make yourself ready to come to the prayer meeting. It is not for some people, but some people is not for them. I hope some of them listen to what preaching tonight. Hallelujah. Your God is speaking to them. Every time we are gathered here on Saturday night, if you are far, you cannot make it, you have to be in the line to listen to what God says. If not that, you are seen, you are coming as sin. If you take Saturday, Saturday service, it's something different. You are coming to the sin. It's a prayer time. It's a, it's, a, it's a part of the service of the church. Everybody require. If you cannot be here, in the time, though you are at home, though you are at work, if you have a time and at work, you can listen. So, okay, this is the time of prayer meeting. But I know there is a link. I can go to it to listen to that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to be the one send the link. If you don't need that, you get the leg. Hallelujah. Because every time they service Saturday, they are online. Hallelujah. Your church members, they don't want to pay attention. You know, in the ministry of Barabana, many people was looking down on him. Hallelujah. Many people was looking down on him. Some of these, oh, they all, I want to go to the to the uh, where brother Wo Oral Robert was. He's a great minister. He had big church. He had many people. You see that? But brother Branham, where he was minister, Jesus was was there and speaking to people, reveal the heart of people, saying the secret of the heart of the people, doing great things. While they were taken, people in this in the time was taken. No, there was no great thing happened. Was great thing was happened in the ministry. They say some people think there's nothing happening Saturday service. That's why you see no one will even look in to see what was going to service on Saturday. Do they online? Can we listen to them? No one will listen to them. Because they are, they, their heart is not there. Hallelujah. They think nothing happened. Because Brother Colonel was taking hold of the service on Saturday. But I want to let you know, it's not Brother Colonel preaching here. It's the Holy Ghost preaching. If they thought that was Brother Colonel, you are doing it wrong. It's Holy Ghost preaching. Me, I want to hear 
anyone who come behind the movie. That is my thing, his own brother. As we can preach the word of God, but I'm gonna with some of say, Amen, do the word of God. I'm not a fanatic, I'm not a fanatic. I'll say amen to anything that which is the word of God. But the Bible says, men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word was said from the mouth of God. That the my brother gonna have in the things of God. That's why I want to know. I want everybody to be part of us in what's going on in this place. As a deacon of the place on this place, I have the right to speak like that. Hallelujah. So if somebody says I don't have brother, brother, what right do you have? I have the right by the church because you place me as your deacon to rebuke you when you are doing wrong. Hallelujah. To tell you this is wrong. If there is prayer meeting, try to put yourself available to come to prayer meeting. And if you are not there that day, you couldn't be there. Maybe you been, you know, you are at work, or maybe you are working this time. What do you do to hear what was preached? What was preached? What do you do to hear that? You might do something. It's okay. I'll, 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 if if there is one service, blood corner maybe was not there that day. In that service online, I must go listen to it. I will not pass. You say, oh no, okay, I wasn't there, so was everything done. No, that's not the attitude of a Christian. A Christian, you say, I'm a church member, and I'm, I'm a, I belong to this church. If something preached, I was not there. If, if there is a way I can hear to that, I'm going to listen to that. Is that all finished? That's why I believe. The service Saturday, every church member must listen to it. It is the part of the church. It is not something a part of the church. It is seen if you if you if you are not partaking of the things who are happening in the church. It is seen in your life. The Holy Ghost is speaking to you tonight. Every church member is mad to hear the word of God. It's mad to take a part, to take part in everything that has been done in this church. If there is a service to you, you, you are required to be there. If you cannot be there that day, you have to find out what was happening. Don't give the attitude or don't care. That's why we're gonna miss your action. God have mercy. I hope. Every brothers and sisters, they may be able to hear what the Lord said to him to them tonight. I feel the Holy Spirit hold me. I want to, to finish to make you pray. But may the Lord have mercy. May the Lord have mercy upon this congregation. We have to do things different ways. We are we 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 are in this together. If you cannot come, oh that sister cannot come. Okay, brother, you cannot come. This is the like listen because they are online right now. Pray, pray together with them. It is everybody involved. It's not some part of the church involved. Listen to what God said to you. We have to have respect for the word of God. And we have to do things different in this congregation. We need to be changed. If you stay at home, maybe you're sick, and there is prayer meeting, you should be on the line. Why you are not on the line? You should be on the line while the saints are, are, are singing. Maybe a song can you can just listen as the saints are singing. Maybe your sickness can be disappeared while the world is preaching. The demon will be holding and captive. We can set free. Stop playing politics in the church. 
Let's try to be in, in all in one accord. In one mind, one spirit. Hallelujah. People are playing things in the church. Let's try to be in one mind. God is speaking to you and I. And I hope each and every one of you tonight, and those who will listen, when there is no when there is service, and Friday, and Saturday, and Sunday, if you cannot be there, you have to know what happened. You are a part of the church. You have to find out to get the light to, to know what was happening. That's the duty of each and every one of us. When there is a bad news, we know about it. When there is good news, we don't want to know about it. God have mercy upon you and I. Sometimes when I see things happen like that, I say, God have mercy upon brothers and sisters. God have mercy upon brothers and sisters. Your things could go better many times. But because the way the things sometimes are shifting, things cannot go as it should be. God is speaking to you and I. He wants to do something new in our life. But we, we all don't want to be involved. Some want to be involved. Some don't want to be involved. If we are not all in one accord, in one mind, forget about, my, forget about it, my brothers and sisters. Nothing good will be happening. You remember when I can get the, the, the Babylonian garment? Because he was not in the same mind with the other children of Israel. Do there was a good thing happen to them? No. People are dying in church. Because we all must be in the same mind. Say this is sin, we're not doing we are we are not committing that sin. There is, so, say, there is prayer meeting. We all go into the prayer meeting. And if there be anything, and we all cannot go. So what is the way out to hear what's going on there? We have a that We have the uh, social media. That's why we use them. We have YouTube. That's why we use them. To know what is going on if you cannot be there. It is your world. It is your duty to know what is going on. The church is not for some group of people. It's for everybody. Everybody involved. I wish I could speak with the whole church sitting here like that. We have to have a different mind. You have seen like the mind of the people. Some some people might divide it. We want to have a, 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 a good mind. Understand things of God better. Hallelujah. May God have mercy as we pray. He is here. Hallelujah. He is here. Amen. He is here. He is here. which I heard is not feeling well. He came from Kenya. He's here around. And I, so the Lord can touch him. And every brother and sister may not feeling well. So the Lord can touch them. Pray for the church. Pray for our pastor. Pray for the ministers. Pray for the deacons or every one of us. Pray for each and every one of us. Amen.